What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. I've had a few requests for the uh, DSG adaptation on the Tiguan right here. So I figured we'll do a quick walkthrough on how to set all the tolerances and everything. So I got the print out here. We'll walk over this real quick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up your laptop like we got right here. We're gonna go to VCDS. We're gonna go to our control modules, select it. Then we're gonna go to our auto trans which is what we want. All right, before we get started here, there's a list of prerequisites we gotta go over. <laughs> so starting from the top, fluid temperature between 30 and 100 Celsius. So I will show you how to do that. Group 19 is where we check it. So if we're on our transmission controller, we go to measuring blocks right here. Type in 19 and we hit enter, all right. So right there, fluid temperature is <clears throat> 46 Celsius. So we want to be between 30 and 100. So we are looking good there. Next up, select our in park position, which we're in park. Uh, ignition on, engine idling, which is good. It's been running for more than a minute. Brake pedal has to be pressed and held the whole time. <laughs> and cruise control has got to be switched off. So let's flip that off. Right, and then um, cruise control, brake pedal. Not, uh, uh, pretty sure the parking brake's got to be on, so we're gonna put the parking brake on. All right, parks on. So those are all set. So first thing we're gonna do is go to transmission, which we're in. Basic setting 04. So we'll go back to this. Close it out. Basic setting 04. This pulls it up, so it's gonna be blank. Next page. First one we go to is group 61. So we're gonna type in 61 in the window. Group 61, hit enter. And now if you listen, you're gonna hear it. Listen to this. setting is on so we are good with group one once it goes to on it's finished next one is group 60 so we're gonna go back to this it's already selected type in 60 hit enter that pulls this up group 60 hit go you can hear it doing its thing again you can feel it banging through the gears Once it, all the numbers stop moving, you're good to change to the next one. Probably like 30 seconds you wait. Numbers quit moving, so we'll go to the next one. So we did 60, 61. You have to do it in order as you go, otherwise you'll screw it up. Next one is 62. So you have to look at your software version. If it's under 800, you're gonna do this one. If it's over it, you skip to the next one. So you can see greater than 800, we go to group 67, which I know mine's greater than 800. So we go to group 67, hit go. So we type in 67, enter. That pulls up the amps for it. Just hit on off next. Let it refresh. That one only takes a second. Next one's group 68. So this is clutch safety function. Literally again, type in 68 and go. It just resets it. 68 enter that also pulls it up we hit on off next that one doesn't really change that one doesn't change often but that one's good continuing down the list pressure adaptation so that's group 65 same thing go to the panel here 65 enter so this is all set to zeros for adaptation and next, this one doesn't really change either, but sometimes it will if it's way off. That's pretty much it. Um, you can also do the steering wheel 
steering wheel one, which it has it. I'm not going to go and reset that one. Those work fine. And you can reset your cruise trip, ESP. Those don't need to be reset. They're working fine. You just switch off the ignition for 10 seconds and then turn it back on. And then you go for the test drive, which as you can see here, you're not supposed to use cruise control. You just drive it in regular mode, stand still up to six gear, stay in gears three or five for five minutes, four and six for five minutes, between 12 and 3,500 RPM. Also, if you read it at the end, it says if the test drive cannot be performed, it is rec in the recommended way or in the necessary time, any remaining adaptations will be performed automatically during normal driving. So you don't even have to do this one. You can literally just skip over it. As you drive, it's gonna learn. The first probably five minutes of driving, it's gonna be really clunky. It's gonna take off weird, but as it learns the shift points, it gets smoother and smoother. So that's it, real simple video. Just a quick, couple people wanted to see how the adaptation is done on this. It's the exact same way as any other DSG car. It works just like that, even though it's not DSG from the factory, but that's it. Close this all out. Take it for a test drive and see how it does.